Hello Joomla people, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to allow users to register on your site. There are a couple of steps involved with setting up user registration. The first is to tell Joomla to allow it. What you'll want to do is go to Global Configuration, and then go to System, and then go to User Settings, and click Yes on Allow User Registration. The next thing you'll want to do is decide what is the default type of registered user they will become. Will they be a regular old registered user, an author, an editor, or a publisher? Then you'll want to decide whether or not they will be sent an email that will have to confirm their registration, which can be done here by clicking on Yes. And the last thing you'll want to do is to set up front end user parameters. As you can see here, what that does is allow people when they come back to the site to change what language they're using, what editor they're using, and what their help site preferences are. After you have enabled user registration, you'll need to turn on the login module that comes with every Joomla extension. What you'll want to do is go to Extensions, Module Manager, then look for Login Form, which is the default name that comes with every Joomla installation. Click on that, and then you want to, if you want, give it a name other than Login Form and decide if you want to have that title show. You want to make it enabled, then of course you want to decide what position it will be in, and then which pages it will be on. Then if we move over to the right under Parameters, you'll decide if you want it to cache, and if your template allows module class suffixes, meaning changing the look and feel of a module, you can put in whatever it is your template allows here. Then you can put in a bit of text that will be before the login. In this case, we put in, please log into our site here. And then some text that will appear after the login, as in, thank you. Next, after this, you could decide when they do log in, where they go to. In this case, we have decided they're going to go to the community page. And then when they log out where they're going to go, and we have decided that they'll go to the home page. And then you'll want to know whether or not you want to hide a simple greeting, and whether or not they will be using the username or name when they log in, and whether or not you will encrypt the form using SSL if you have it enabled on your server. Let's save these, and then go to the front end, and you can see, here's our login form on the home page only. Here's the text we put in. Please log into our site here. And then it has the login button, of course. You will see a forget your password link, forgot your username link, and the ability to create an account if they are not already a registered user. And then at the end, you'll see the thank you that you put in in the login back end. So now what will happen when someone comes to your site and they are not an existing user, they could click on create an account and they will be presented with this default screen. They will then complete it, click register, an email will be sent to them if you chose to have this option, in which case they will have to opt in and then they'll be able to access your site from your login page.